hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time to return to Zork Zero, the Revenge of Megamaz. Now, <clears throat> last we left off, uh, I believe... Yes, we had just appeared on this plane after putting on that cape. Okay. Endlessly in all directions. Okay, let's go south. Okay. Let's go south. Oh. You're on the plane. Rich Loam. The plane seems to stretch endlessly. You hear a sing-song prayer chant and turn to see a high priest of some sort. His tall ebony headpiece bears a religious cipher, and his vestments seem to soak up all light. Uh-huh. The high priest notices your cloak and bows gracefully. Greetings, Lordship. It's been a long time between moves. I bet you've got a great one planned. Ah! Okay, let's go west. Go west. Go north. East, 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 south, east, east. Aha! Sun bleached sand. Except to the east where the world seems to end in a void. South. South. Yep. I'm on a chessboard. You know, uh, nearby rises a small tower keep. Made of creamy marble. Between the crenellations of the parapet, you spot a man dressed in an ivory chain mail and carrying a crossbow made of birch. Hmm. Okay, now we a uh, tall man wearing princely robes stands nearby. His bearing indicates that this is a man accustomed to command. His linen robes are trimmed with an ermine, and his crown is studded with diamonds and opals. Okay, that's a... Oh, north. Okay. East. Okay. You spot a solitary, bored-looking foot soldier. His face is smudging with flowers. His uniform is sewn from pure, undyed cotton, and the handle of his sword is solid quartz. Look at man. That's a foot soldier. Look at night. Ah, so that's not our knight. That's a pawn, probably. Okay, so we're going to find a knight. We're on a chessboard. We're on a giant chessboard. Let's go north, east, east. Ah. Polished Onyx, Black King. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, let's see. Sing song prayer chant. Okay, this is a bishop. Some sort of tall ebony. So he's brown. A black knight. Okay. So there, there's a knight on this field somewhere. Loam, sand. It's a chessboard. It's a giant effing chessboard. On horseback. That's our knight. Soldier on horseback. 
All righty. Drop pigeon. The mounted soldier says, well, what do you know? It's been a long time since I had a ceramic pigeon. He picks it up and instantly the mounted soldier seems to grow more distant without moving. Within seconds, the mounted soldier is gone. Take off cloak. Boom. Underground construction site, roughly octagonal in shape. A soldier, there is a soldier on horseback here. His Okay. Take pigeon. As you take the pigeon, you feel dizziness, like that which one gets from drinking Misnian wines too quickly. When you seem to have moved a few feet. Uh huh. Ah. Soldier. North, then northwest. Let's see if that works here. I'm off! The mounted soldier and his steed jump high into the air and vanish. A moment later, you hear a proud whinnying in the distance. The jester appears. The jester watches you with twinkling eyes. Drop pigeon. Dropped. Okay. Take pigeon. Oh, underground construction site, roughly octagonal in shape. Engraved on the wall is the number zero. Hmm. Okay. Soldier, south, southeast. Well, soldier, south, then southeast. I'm off. <laughs> Drop pigeon. Get pigeon. Ooh. In the wall is number 17. Get hard hat. Yay! I got the hard hat. Okay. Southeast. East. Gotta leave now. Good thing I have this in front of me here. Northeast, northeast. Northeast, east, southwest. See, I got east, southwest. South, southwest. South, southeast, southwest, south. East, east, northwest. <laughs> northwest. Northeast. Okay, northeast. East. East. Oh, we're out of there. Thank God we're out of there. <laughs> Alright, let's go south. Crossroads, mm -hmm. Southgate, oh, toll booth. You have reached one of the numerous great underground highway system tolls. A closed toll gate spans the road. The toll booth is unoccupied, but a sign next to the gate indicates an exact change option. Oh, boy. Read sign. Exact change only. One Zork mid, coins only. Below the sign is basket. Okay. Put Zorkmid in basket. Bink. The 
toll gate opens. And a poorly maintained sign lights up momentarily saying, Tank! Ooh! Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. We did that. <laughs> Drop cloak. Inventory. Um. Okay. Now, oh, we have all this we have to worry about. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what I have to drop. Uh, drop hammer? Drop blueprint? Drop notice? Okay, I'm gonna save. Chance. Okay. Alright. Hopefully I've dropped enough. South. To the south, the road is rent by a wide fissure, the reminder of a recent quake. Judging by the footprints in the dust, many travelers have reached this point only to turn around and head back to the north. The quake has also opened a narrow crack in the eastern walled tunnel. You might be able to squeeze into it. Okay, well guess what? I'm going to squeeze into it. You are in a narrow fissure, which widens to the west. A cool breeze seemed to blow up from below. Well, then let's go down. The air is chilly, the walls are covered with ice, and the floor is piled with high with crystal spheres of varying size and colors. Most are chipped or shattered. Your light reveals no exits, although a trickle of warm, dry air caresses you from above. The only intact orbs seem, be, seem to be a milky orb, a fiery orb, a glittery orb, and a smoky orb. Get orbs. Hey, I got them all. What do you know? All right. Up, west, and north, and get all. Uh. Hmm. Let me try that. Okay, get cloak. Hey, you know, helps to wear stuff, huh? <laughs> all right, we got all our stuff back. All right, back to the cave in or the crossroads. So let's save. Yes. Okay, let's go east. Cave in. Just ahead, the roof of the highway tunnel has collapsed, creating a dead end. Decades of non-maintenance of the Empire's infrastructure are taking their toll. Your only choice is to return to the west. The jester is here. I'm glad you decided to drop in. As you see, the ceiling decided to drop in some time ago. He sits cross-legged on a piece of rubble. Time for a guessing contest. If you can guess my middle name, I'll give you a prize for winning this game. Uh, now. From what I read earlier, it's Uzums. For some reason, the walkthrough I'm using. 
That's my proper appellation, the finest in the nation. The gesture gives a cheerful wave of farewell and vanishes, saying, See you next week, same bad time, same bad channel. A moment later, you hear a shrieking. Fleep, fleep, fleep. A large, deranged bat swoops down, snatches you up, and deposits you in <sighs> parapet. Oh, boy. You are on the roof of the tower, a virtual museum of state-of-the-art castle defense from the 8th century. A fortified parapet resting on stone corbels. Rim the roof. Rims the roof. Machinations holes between the corbels allow massive weights to be dropped on invaders below. More often they were dropped rather than painfully on the soldier's own toe. Uh, crenellations are spaced around the parapet, providing more opening for armaments and offering a commanding view of the castle grounds. The main castle just below and beyond the moat, the castle's village and garrison. The sole exit is the stairway down. You can see a large fly here. Get fly? Hmm. Get fly? Remove glove? Get fly? Get fly? Okay. Guess I can't get the fly yet. See down. Bastion. A room occupies a taller tower rising from the corner of the keep. The slit of windows are wider here, presumably to accommodate the weaponry of the period. The stairs wind down from here. Salar. This is the King Salar, where he would bathe and dress and meet most of his trusted advisors. Okay, West. Dimwit's room. Stare in awe as you realize that you are within the private bedroom of Lord Dimwit Flathead, the canopy bed. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to restore. So let's see if this works different here. I have no idea where... Oh, God! He mm, did. All right. East. Oh, let's go down. Don John. Four building. T. Top of the stairs. Down. South. South. East. Uh, northwest. South. West. No, I don't. What, down? Oublia, oh god. Restore. Okay. East. What would I say to Spike? Okay, not Spike. Okay, I just thought I'd try that. That's my proper appellation, the finest in the nation. Mr. Wince is at his rhyming. Oh, well, they can't all be gems. In a wink, he's gone. Yay! Just ahead, the roof of the highway tunnel has... Okay. Get boom! Oh, God damn you. Read notice. Oh, let's drop the notice. I don't need that anymore. Get bomb. Yay, the anti-pit bomb. Good. Alrighty. West. North. North. Northeast. Lower hall. Hallelujah. All right, let's go down, lowest hall. 
You get the feeling that no ray of light has touched these walls in ages. Few have even ventured down here since the curse was laid upon the castle those many years ago. A decrepit stair leads upwards, and there's an opening to the north. The bottom of a steep, gravelly passage is visible to the east. To the south is the most massively reinforced door you've ever seen. A rickety ladder can take you down even lower. Okay. Pits. The under cavern deep. This cavern deep in the bowels of the great underground empire is spotted with inc an incredible quantity of pits. Judging from the closest of them, the pits are bottomless. A rickety lair leads upwards. At the far end of the cavern sits an ancient battery powered brass lantern. Okay. Hmm. Why well, can't use bomb? Okay. Use bomb. Let me save this real quick. Uh, save chance save chance delete it yes save complete good use bomb on pits Look at bomb. Let's look at that bomb. Read label. Read the anti. I didn't know that anti pit bomb label. Read anti pit. Read bomb label. Okay, read label. Anti pit bomb. In other words, read anti pit bomb label. Read. Is your cavern infested with bottomless pits? If so, this anti pit bomb is the answer to your prayers. Simply enter the pitted room and throw the bomb. All pit filling agents are harmless. No protective gear is required. Well, doesn't say anything about throwing the bomb in the uh, walkthrough. So let's throw the bomb. The cavern deep. And a large number, all of which have been filled in except one. The open pit seems to have handholds leading downwards, a rickety ladder leading upwards. Okay, get lantern. You pick up the brass lantern. Alrighty, up. Up. North. Get screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see, inventory. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Mm. I don't think I want to get rid of uh, the stock certificate. <sighs> Is the blueprint important? Oh, it's in my Zork. Okay. Drop blueprint. I mean, I have that, so. Get screwdriver. 
Alrighty, now I have that. South, up. I'm watching you, you damn gesture. East, north. Well, alrighty. Drop all. Okay, let me get that cloak. Read cloak, because it has a label on it. Magic cloak. Remove, okay, drop cloak. Dropping the cloak. Remove glove. Drop glove. Remove hard hat. Drop hard hat. And now we have everything in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't want to carry that. I don't want to pick up that pigeon. Okay, so let's get the candle. Boom. All right, save. Chance. Yes, okay, save complete, good. All right. All right, so let's go back to the crossroads, south. Uh, west, down. Southwest, south, south, crossroads, okay. All right, we're going to head west. Potholes. The road which runs east to west is in bad shape, pitted with holes and ruts. Hey, what is this, a this road in Pennsylvania? Okay. West, rest stop. By the north side of the road is rest stop, closed board up. The road continues to the southwest. Southwest. Fork. Okay. So we can go west and southwest here. So we'll go west. Fishy odor. The tunnel narrows towards a spot of light to the west. The stench of dead rotting fish hangs in the air. West. Fishing village. Oh. The once busy port on the shore of the Great Sea lies deserted. A tunnel opens to the east. The shoreline can be followed south along the ocean's edge, and a wharf juts into the harbor to the west. A newly constructed stone building lies to the north. An eye-catching sign has been erected next to its entrance. A trollish guard drags someone, kicking and screaming, into the stone building. Okay, west. Wharf. The wharf extends into the harbor from a village to the east. Along the north side of the wharf, a building rests on piers above, over the water. The gesture appears. I've learned from years of loyalty spinning rhymes for the noble court that with the attention span of royalty, my poems must be short. The jester yawns and says, think I'll catch some winks. Nighty night, don't let the bed bug bite. As the jester vanishes, you hear the clicking of giant mandibles. <laughs> okay. With a flurry of its powerful hairy legs, the big bug scuttles over to block your way. Yawn. That was all the bed bug needed to see. It curls up into a well-armed piece of sleeping bed bug armor. You hear a chuckle from an invisible source, and the sleeping bed bug disappears. Okay. And north into the casino. This is the Port Fusil Casino. Once a famous gambling spot, but now deserted and shows the effects of three of years of ocean storms. The casino has been heavily looted. Only a single card table seems untouched. An exit leads to set needs south. You do a double take as you notice the jester at the card table, grandly shuffling a thick deck. I don't wear any gushy, 
I can't dance the hoochie coochie. I've never been good at old smoochie woochie. But I'm sure I'm a whiz at double fanusi. When I start to deal, the tension is real. If you can stand the heat, pull up a seat. He motioned you emotions for you to sit down at the table. And with that, we are going to save the game. And next time, we will continue. We will play this double Fanusi game. I have no idea how it's going to work. And next time, and of course, like I said, we'll play this double Fanusi game, and we might get farther into the game. In fact, I have a feeling this is going to take us a little while, but I think we're going to make it all the way through. Because it's a gambling game, and they love to put those in the early games. Actually, I still like putting them into the games, but they're a little bit easier to win. <laughs> As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, and if you've watched to the end, thank you. And uh, please check out some of the other playthroughs I've been putting up on the channel. I am also working through Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, featuring a snarky cat. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I am also working my way through the Monkey Island franchise. In fact, I'm on the last game in the Monkey Island franchise, Tales of Monkey Island. I am working on the second chapter in the game. I am working. I just recently, not too long ago, started Call of Cthulhu, and I'm working my way through that. This is a 2018 release. I am also do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. I'm hoping I can get some interesting challenges or come up with some interesting challenges for that. I am working my way through Abduction from the same people who created Mist. I am working my way through Sierra's library. I recently started work on the, the Space Quest series, and uh, I'm going to be starting Space Quest 3. I am also working my way through the Doom franchise following the same protagonist, and I am right now working my way through Final Doom, which is very tough. But it's interesting. And there's others up on the channel. So please subscribe. Give the video a like if you'd like. And again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Have a good day and goodbye.